let us consider in a homonuclear chemical shift correlation spectroscopy in short this type of 2d nmr is also known as homo cozy experiment or home core now uh, this is a type of uh, 2d experiment where we develop the correlation between the um, hydrogens <coughs> now what type of hydrogens Uh, the hydrogens which can transfer magnetization um, uh, during the evolution time means the hydrogens in the structure of the compound who are separated by three sigma bonds mainly uh, and sometimes uh, separated by two sigma bonds or uh, four sigma bonds um, among them correlation can be developed by performing homo cozy experiments and uh, let us see the experimental uh, simplified form of the experiment that is uh, the basic 2d uh, experimental model where um, preparation time evolution time and uh, acquisition time there are three times are there and the two pulses are there of 90 degree before fid so experimental sequence of homo cozy is uh, preparation time 90 degree then evolution time again one more 90 degree pulse followed by recording fid which is called as the acquisition time now the symbol for and then uh, evolution time is t1 which already we have discussed under the basic principle of 2d nmr when the evolution time actually uh, will be gradually increasing one after another uh, and it starts from zero but incremental shift will be continuously added in each and every experiment and the bunch of the experiments will be analyzed by the computer associated with uh, nmr machine and here there will not be the two channels in um, uh, only the experiment will be performed on the proton channel now um, fid will be converted into the frequency domain spectrum and uh, there are two times are there one is symbolized by t1 another is symbolized by t2 t1 is representing the acquisition uh, sorry t1 is representing the uh, um, evolution time whereas t2 is representing as always the acquisition time and uh, uh, this acquisition time is common uh, related to the fid in all, all the spectra so um, t2 related axis is the x axis which is representing the um, f2 and uh, t1 related axis is the y axis which is um, uh, uh, which is f1 so when so now when it will be edited the all the experimental data will, will can be stored in the computer computer will analyze edit and finally it will display the 2d homo cozy spectrum of a particular compound so how does it look like that spectrum and how to analyze this is the most important uh, thing what we have to understand of after getting the 2d homo cozy spectrum how how to analyze this thing so now as already we have told that in this 2d nmr whenever we will discuss the spectrum it will be having the two axis one is the x axis y axis one more axis is also there that is z axis and that is intensity axis which usually we will not refer now in homo cozy axis are very important which is plotted against x axis which is plotted against y axis it is very important and it will change from experiment to experiment so we have to remember now the our conventional nmr spectrum is plotted against the x axis means that is related to the acquisition means it is related to the t2 and which can be converted into the frequency domain spectrum so the x axis represents the f2 and um, uh, y axis that is a new added ac- axis that is uh, um, f1 now in uh, homo cozy spectrum whether it a- f2 or f1 means whether it is x axis or y axis you should what will come is a 
chemical shift of hydrogen and for understanding purpose any compound which will which will be analyzed or which will uh, be asked in the question paper that uh, uh, draw and explain uh, you have to sketch the 1d nmr proton nmr which on the top of the x axis and on the top of the y axis means in the left hand side or the right hand side so usually we prefer left hand side so doesn't matter you can refer the right on the um, y axis also and after that we have to develop the correlation so now we, as already i have told you we will be uh, discussing um, uh, the um, homogeneous spectrum in terms of the contour spots so how two types of contour spots here it will come some spots will come on the diagonal those are called as the diagonal um, peaks and some spot circles will come which will not fall on the diagonal those are called as the cross peaks or off diagonal peaks so what is the meaning of the diagonal peaks and what is the meaning of the cross peaks that we have to understand we have to practice how to analyze the spectrum now if any compound if we consider the 1d nmr so in 1d nmr how many signals will come in homogeneous spectrum those many diagonal peaks will come so number of signals in 1d h1 nmr spectrum is equal to number of diagonal peaks in 2d homogeneous spectrum is equal to the number of chemically non equivalent hydrogen atoms in the given molecule so this is all about your diagonal peaks suppose let us consider some examples chloroform chloroform has one hydrogen it gives one peak so you will be getting one um, diagonal peak at delta 7.7 so like that how how many signals will come in 1d hnmr those many diagonal spots you will be getting at that particular delta value the delta value is available on the x axis as well as on the y axis so doesn't matter now let us concentrate on the cross peaks now if when we will get the cross peak when we will not get the cross peak if we get the, the cross peak what is the meaning of that if we do not get the cross peak what is the meaning of the of that so first let us consider that the compound is not giving any cross peak so what does it mean it means that it is not transferring the magnetization means it does not have why it is not transferring magnetization means it does not have any cup Uh, partner to transfer hydrogen means in 1d nmr if you think this uh, 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 phenomena this situation if you convert it in 1d means uh, there is no coupling means in that um, if you go, go to the next carbon or next atom there is no hydrogen to for the coupling or there is no hydrogen for the magnetization transport so that's why in 1d the hydrogens which appear as a singlet they will come here only in the diagonal spot without any cross peak now if we have the cross the diagonal suppose example where singlets will come li like chloroform you do not have any hydrogen for um, coupling otherwise many carbons are there they are also because of identical hydrogens there will be no coupling like ethene like benzene like um, like uh, um, so many dimethyl ether like this you will not have any coupling uh, means those wherever in 1d nmr if it comes as a singlet here you will be having only diagonal peak of diagonal peaks will not come now if the di of diagonal peak comes then what is the meaning of that the presence of of diagonal peak indicates that they, they between those two hydrogens there is some magnetization transfer during the evolution time means they are undergoing the coupling in terms of 1d version means wherever signal splits because double triplet quartet in th those cases if we record the 2d homogeneous spectrum those hydrogens will give the cross peak suppose delta a and the delta x there are two hydrogens are there one is h a and another one is the h x these two are separated by three sigma bonds now a and x they are they will undergo the coupling or they will transfer the magnetization during the evolution time of the 2d homogeneous spectrum so they will give the cross peak in so at the delta value of uh, a and the delta value of x we will be getting uh, one cross peak 
so that cross peak you will be having its mirror image means this uh, homocosy spectrum is symmetrical with respect to the corner if you fold it each and every point will be having its mirror image so their coordinate will be delta a delta x and another one will be delta x delta a so any one half part if you analyze your job done you no need to analyze the two so in a, and the uh, what is the coordinate of the diagonal peak suppose it is delta a to delta a delta a, along the x axis delta a along the y axis delta a you will be having the diagonal peak and the delta x also delta x delta x you will be having the coordinate of that particular circle or point on the diagonal of diagonal peak suppose a and x are undergoing the magnetization transfer or a and x are the coupled coupled partner means a and a are x are separated in the structure by the three sigma bonds in that case you will be getting the off diagonal peak or the cross peak at delta a x other and at delta x a so now let us consider one example that is mom chloride methoxy methyl chloride now there are two types of hydrogens are there one is och3 another one is the och2 but they are not coupling because they are not separated by the three sigma bond so if you record the 2d homocosy spectrum of mom chloride methoxy methyl chloride then you will be getting the two um, singlets in 1d so therefore here you will be getting only two diagonal peaks and the ch2 will be having the higher delta value because it is attached with the two electronegative atoms oxygen and the chlorine ch3 will be having the lower delta value because it is attached with the only one electronegative element that is oxygen so you will be getting only one only two um, diagonal peak and as because they are not coupling means they are not separated by three sigma bonds in the structure so therefore there will be no cross peak now the, let, let us consider the second example where we have chloroiodoethylene there are two hydrogens are there one is higher value is the uh, ha lower value is the uh, lower delta value is hx chlorine is more electronegative than y so i so therefore hydrogen attached with the chlorine will be having higher delta value compared to the hydrogen attached with the i so here also you will be a and x two uh, signals will come means in the in the 2d spectrum a and x uh, we, you will be getting the two diagonal peak and the cross peaks definitely it will come why because a and x are separated by the three sigma bonds and a under goes the coupling with x x undergo coupling with a so in 1d version we get the two doublets but here in the 2d homocosy spectrum just we have we will be getting a cross peak who, whose coordinate will be delta a delta x and its mirror image delta x delta a <coughs> now um, let us consider the third example where we have done the ethyl chloride ethyl chloride ki how many signals will come two signals will come ch2 will be having higher delta value over the ch3 because ch2 is attached with the chlorine so in uh, diagonal peak uh, we will be getting two higher value ki ch2 will come lower value ki ch3 will come now ch2 and the ch3 are they uh, separated by the three sigma bonds yes they are separated by three sigma bonds means in the 1d they will undergo the coupling signal will split into a doublet formula you know m is equal to 2 ni plus 1 but in the 2d those things will not work only we have to we will come to know the cross peaks means um ch2 signal and the ch3 signal what is the delta value of ch3 what is the delta value of the ch2 there we will be getting the cross peak and its mirror image cross peak also will come now ch2 will come at the 2.5 and the ch3 will come at the 1.5 so at the 2.5 and 1.5 we will be getting the diagonal peak means 2.5 2.5 1.5 1.5 if we will be getting the diagonal peak and at the cross peak 2.5 comma 1.5 otherwise 1.5 comma 2.5 there we will be getting the cross peak it indicates that they are transferring magnetization during the evolution time of um, homocosy spectrum otherwise in 1d version they are coupling partner so in 1d signal splits in 2d homocosy we will be getting the cross peak getting cross peaks means they are transferring magnetization means they are separated by three sigma bonds in the structure not getting cross peak means they are um, uh, not um, transferring magnetization means they are not separated by three sigma bonds usually 
so we have a, uh, another example also in this pa page that is your propyl alcohol one propanol there are four different types of hydrogens are there oh e, ch2 ch2 ch3 ch2 attached with the oxygen will be means carbon number one highest delta value then c2 then c3 means ch3 oh we can keep aside because it will not couple with anybody so diagonal peaks means you will be getting the four diagonal peaks and of diagonal peaks who will be having the coupling so those many cross peaks you will be getting ch2 couples with c1 ch2 couples with the ch2 mm, so you will be getting the cross peak in between these two the middle ch2 means the c2 ch you will be having the two coupling means if once it will couple with the ch2 another it will couple with the ch3 so two sets of different um, cross peaks you will be getting for the c2 here and this is the first example where we are using the two different means this indicate two different types of cross peaks we are getting for one particular delta value it in one particular hydrogen it indicates that that particular hydrogen is transferring the magnetization to two different types of hydrogens means it is undergo it it has a two different types of hydrogens which are separated by three sigma bonds with respect to this particular hydrogen and the last is the ch3 ch3 will be having magnetization transfer only with the ch2 so only one set of um, uh, cross peaks will come so how many sets of cross peaks we are getting those many different types of um, uh, hydrogens are there which are three bond away with respect to each other